Fellas, name one Kremlin. You said K. Rule, didn't you? Yep, that's the one, at least as far as I know. But that's why I listen to people who are smarter and better than me. That's why I listen to Carlito, who uploaded a new video featuring every single Kremlin. And you can see the one I know right there. And I'm going to watch this video and see if he's right. I'm going to peer review my colleague to see if he's correct. Hey, remember to like this video, by the way. I told people to do it a while ago, and it helps it go up a lot. This is every single Kremlin ever made by Carlito, good friend of the stream. But how many Kremlings in the Kremlin crew could you name right now? Uh, Clubba? Cleaver, I think? Crunch? And that's it. Well, there's a lot of Kremlings. Yeah. <laughs> do do other K rules count? There's Pirate K rules, Scientist K rule, Doctor K rule. You know what I'm saying? I watched this video and I still don't. The original idea for the Kremlin. You watch this whole video and you still don't know them all? Johnny Blastoff and the Kremlin Armada. Wait, what? So Johnny Blastoff was just like a guy? The yeah. Kremlings would sadly never get to actually fight our boy Jonathan, but the idea of the Kremlings lived on. So Johnny Blastoff was probably just like a guy. These probably just like a were kid, so, cool so we watch it like a Captain N thing. Some game, right? any game. Luckily for the Kremlings, it just so happened that the game they would Let's go! <laughs> would shake the world. Starting with the leader of them all, King K. Rule. Yep, that's Usually the one for this I series, yeah. I try to keep the main character as brief as I can. You can but talk about K. Rule is by far the coolest character of the bunch I've talked about so far. Yeah. He has so much neat shit to him that I honestly can't wait to show you. Yeah, it's weird that he was a doctor in one of the games. Like, he became a mad scientist. I don't know why they did that. The earliest ideas of K. Rule started out in the Johnny Blastoff phase. <laughs> the Kremlings needed a leader, I'm so they drew up Johnny this concept Blastoff art of shit. the Kremlings leader. Ew, His name dude, he's scary. Was was crud. Change that. <laughs> what is this waste? He's so thin in the middle. This is like those shitty photoshops that were going on on Twitter for a while. But Commander I know what you've K, been thinking. Yeah. What does the K and K rule stand for? I don't well, know, it actually. actually means nothing. Oh. It's just the letter K. <laughs> I don't like the glee in this response. Nothing. Just okay champing. Nothing at all. You couldn't make something up? I guess if you made something up, people would be annoying, be like, it's canon, it's canon. He appeared in a lot of different BS, Mario Sluggers, comics where he's drawn he with human-like hands, and even TV. And pretty much all of the media he appears in, he's seen as kind of insane and deranged. Like his beef with Donkey Kong is super strange. <laughs> I hate this render. Why is he looking straight for- I don't think I've ever seen this. DK didn't do anything to K. Rule, yet K. Rule still stole all of his bananas. <laughs> You'd think this is Why? just typical villain behavior. He doesn't even I mean, like Mario bananas. Mario didn't do anything to Bowser, but he still kidnaps Peach. But the difference is, Bowser actually has a motive. That yeah. being he wants to be with Peach, right? Right, they want to get K. married, Rool yeah. doesn't even like bananas. <laughs> and I know for a fucking fact he's not feeding it to his minions that he's he already beats. He's just being beats. an asshole. They're all The carnivores. only motive you can reasonably make that? of this information is that he just wants DK to starve to death. <laughs> And looking into this further, this was actually confirmed by the writer of the DKC games. Ah, he wants the banana horde because DK will starve and die, enabling the crafty croc to occupy the gorilla's cozy treehouse pad. So it actually is that morbid. He wants Donkey Kong not to eat and then die. Instead of just killing himself, he's cutting off resources. Yeah, war of attrition. Well, what's weird is, like, there are bananas outside. They grow on trees. Donkey Kong has every banana. He literally doesn't. Have you played the games? They're just sitting around outside. In every single country game, K. Rule has a new outfit and heavily role Here's plays what he's really dressing up as. <laughs> role plays? Yeah. Super Smash Bros. Brawl actually tries to change our mind on this and gaslight us into thinking the pirate outfit is actually a completely separate character. Come on. Captain K. Rule made an appearance. I did not know it said that. I love the idea that that's a different guy. They just so happen to have the same fucked up eye. Must run in the family. Bad genetics. But at the same time, he also finds some of the Kongs attractive. Like, I wish we wouldn't talk about this. He finds one of the Kongs attractive. And he does this while apparently having a wife. Oh. K. Rule is batshit insane if you haven't picked <laughs> up on it already. And if you thought it uh, couldn't get any worse, he's racist too. He refers to Brown Critter as the dirty underbone. <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry for liking K. Rule. I thought he was just a really funny big crocodile guy. I was not aware of his political beliefs. I will not be following him in the future. Did someone say they wish to embark on a journey to the West? This video is sponsored by Wukong M. To the West. That's right. Immerse yourself in mind-blowing 3D graphics with the ultimate fantasy MMORPG, Wukong M. 
to the west. When bizarre demons awaken amidst chaos, where is the hero to save the world? Embark on a journey as the Monkey King Wukong, exploring a vast open world, unlocking divine artifacts and vanquishing demons and expelling the darkness. Engage in epic battles with legendary gear, flashy skills, and magnificent combos. Explore the free world with multiple dungeons for an immersive gaming experience. Or try out various forms of PvP, including arenas, battles between gods and demons, and so much more. You can get cool mounts and exquisite fashion, matching your own style. And now is the best time to start, because it's time to play Wukong M like a millionaire. By pre-registering the game, you will get 100 million diamonds. And by pre-registering, not only do you receive 100 million free diamonds, if the pre-registration target is met, you'll get potions, treasure chests, some great loot, and even if you hit a million players doing it, you get this cool panda skin too. Did I mention it's free? Because it is. Embark on the epic tale of Sun Wukong the Monkey King in this game where East meets West. Download Wukong M to the West by clicking the link in the description below. And don't forget to pre-register for your 100 million free diamonds. Play Wukong M now. And thank you Wukong M for sponsoring this video. First, let's mention the critter, the basic Kremlin type. Yeah, They're cool just your typical pads, enemy man. and there's not too much to them. These guys are obviously from DKC as awesome. the basic enemy, and in this game, these guys are responsible for one of the best gaming noises of all time. Hit it. <laughs> Donkey Kong Country sound design is some of the best in any game. One of my favorite sounds ever is uh, is Diddy getting hit. Oh. Ow! Love that. But I want to talk a little bit more about the DKC trilogy. Earlier yeah. I talked about how K. Rool plays dress up and one time he became yes, a pirate named LARPing. Captain K. Rool. Right. Well, when he was the captain, he made the critters dress up as pirates too. And when they dress <laughs> cool. up as pirates, they are now known as separate characters called clomps. But while looking at the oh. clomps, I noticed something. Well, I don't know if he made them dress up. He probably just chopped off their legs. These guys now have peg legs. Yeah, they're amputees. Meaning that if you're a critter and want to join K. Rool's pirate crew, yep. you have to sacrifice your own leg to be initiated. Or, or be one of the rope guys. They dressed up as pirates for a little while until DKC3, be a rope guy where instead. they were just completely replaced by these great value critters called cobbles. Ew, and these are I just some of the, the ugliest bastards I've ever seen. Yeah, they're nasty. This might be like one the of the eyes. biggest downgrades I've seen in a while. Well, honestly, it's the it's the shoulder pads and the chest armor. This guy's naked. This dude is literally just a naked animal, which is not the vibe. Wait, does he have a lip ring? Why is that the one design element they give it? Listen, we can't give you tummy armor. We can't give you shoulder pads. We can't give you knee pads we can't give you shoes we can't give you a cool hat but we are gonna put a lip ring on awesome man i'm just gonna change the topic i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna okay. brighten our moods a bit here let's talk about the about clap that. trap this is one of my favorite Kremlin designs I didn't realize ever, that they properly. were, I guess They're you're right. They're cute yeah. as hell. Are, the clap yeah. traps kind of act like pets to the Kremlin. What sound do they make when they get hit? I don't remember. It sounds like Diddy. I thought it did, but I didn't want to be wrong. I thought they did that. Ow. Oh, it is Diddy. Ow. Yeah, okay. I thought it was, but I wasn't sure. Now, this thing is cute, but you might have been wondering, how can we make the clap trap look disgusting? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, holy fuck, right? Oh, yeah, this is how the gross. clap traps look in the DKC That's really bad. Animated That's not cartoon, cute at all. And That's they look miserable. awful. The solution for this was to make them act as disposable ammunition for this gun called the clap blaster. Oh. Clap traps get put into this gun. And then they get used as literal ammo. Oh. This cartoon was on the craziest substances. We're gonna- Oh my god, it's like nano machines. Do you see this? So they just get blasted? They're like little piranhas? Just like the critter, the claptrap has country two and three variants. Yes. This will be a kind of common thing, two to looks, be honest. I think the same, it. right? DKC2 gave us the clamp on, which is just right. said to- uh, <laughs> Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. It's like clamping onto something. Okay, chat knows where I was thinking with this. I don't know why. Gross name. Yeah, but that's not what they meant. That I don't know why that's where my head went. It's so stupid. Speak on that? No, I don't think I will. I think either you get it or you don't. If anything, that's another rare moment. Yeah, we're mad at rare wear here. It's their fault. But in DKC3, we get the crimp. Which <laughs> Ew. I hate that guy. That is the pug of claptraps. Disgusting creature. What kind of fucking 
genetic breeding allowed this. But let's talk a little bit about Clump, our clumps, next croc on the list. Clumps, love the clumps. He's this strong and military troop yeah, Kremlin. Yeah, only Donkey Kong Clumps kills have always them. been implied to be Very one strong. of the higher ranking members on the Kremlin crew. Oh, big ass there's a clump that gives K. Rule updates on the comms in DK64. And there's also big a clump ass. named General Clump, who like acts clump, as one though. of K. Rule's top henchmen in the cartoon. Isn't it weird that Clump doesn't wear armor? Like, all the other ones wear armor. Why him nipples? Yeah, I don't, like, reptiles don't breastfeed. They, eggs. But let's talk about the DKC3 gremlin, okay. the bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it weird how Donkey Kong Country is, like, strictly worse in nearly every way aesthetically? I like Donkey Kong Country 3. I'm a Donkey Kong Country 3 defender. But every time I play it, I get to, like, the bees, and I'm like, why did they do that? I'll defend the game until the end of time, but it's ugly. I think the game is pretty. I think Donkey Kong Country 3 looks good, like, environment-wise. And I think the Canada thing is really cool, but... Yeah, the enemies blow. The Canada thing? Yeah, Donkey Kong Country 3 takes place in Canada. Isn't that weird? I think that's cool. I don't know if it's ever, like, confirmed it's Canada, but it's, like, Pacific Northwest. It's like Vancouver. There's not much to the dude either. He's just this oh, little Kremlin it? with a massive bazooka. Carlito, you missed on this one. He looks like shit. The bazooka was the successor to the can. Garbage. He doesn't resemble cannon at all or clump, but functionality-wise, like no. in the game, these two are pretty comparable. How the hell is he carrying that bazooka? He is a little tiny bastard. He shouldn't be able to carry that. That is Probably made out of raw light. metal, and he's carry. He has to be one of the strongest crumblings physically. Okay, well, now that it looks like this, it does look a little bit bigger. And it has a TNT barrel inside. Wait, wait. I was like, okay, maybe it's like a plastic thing, like those salt shooters that they do that shoot bugs. I'm like, okay, maybe not. But this is a little... Okay, I can kind of see it. Carlito wins? No, no. I, I think the design still sucks, but he is quite powerful. I will give him that. And he withstands the recoil. <laughs> That's true. If he was any weaker, he would die here. Because he would blast and then die. He would fall off the cliff. But he blasts it and holds his ground. That's pretty good. Crusha. Crusha is kind of really similar good. to Clump funny. in a lot of ways. I do love Crusha. Crusha's great. But Clump was treated better. Crusha has only appeared in like two games. In the original. I just love his laugh when he goes. <laughs> but in DK64, he's, so he's not even an I enemy in the game. Instead, you can unlock him as a playable character in the game. Oh, the yeah, game. you can play as him. pretty cool. He's playable. But it's kind of yeah, strange. Yeah, get that the ass, Crusher. In the, game. the biggest Crusher fans were disappointed that he was only in multiplayer. They wanted him in the story mode, too. Uh, did they? So a Game Shark code was made where you can play as Crusher in the story mode. No. Just a few years ago, a glitch what was discovered to bring Crusher into the story without cheats. So if you're a diehard Crusher fan like me and want to play the story as Crusher without modifying the game, you don't you can even do need that. cheats. How does but he if you do it? Do it this way. The game's actually what happens if he gets so, the. I mean, it's kind of an ass trade off at that point. <laughs> just use the Game Shark code. But fuck you. This is still cool. He can't do anything. He can't get in the barrel. He can't collect bananas. Can he beat the game, though? No way. Let's talk about his DKC 2 and 3 variants real quick, where I can happily introduce you to Cruncha, this fine Cruncha. pirate crocodile. Yeah, look how strong he is, dude. God damn, look at that physique. Oh, my God. He's off the juice. He's off the banana juice on this. Don't worry, though. I know what you're thinking, because I was thinking the exact same thing. What are his turn-ons? That, I think some people in my chat were thinking that. I do think that's what you guys were considering. Not me, though. That was not my first thought. See, I wanted to know how tall he was, and they told me. Them listed here. He likes barbells, washboard abs, and feeling the burn. Yes, right. This is Wait, he hates yogurt? I thought he would like yogurt. I thought yogurt was a good uh, not gain weight food. Quiche is good, too, right? Fat? Yogurt's not fat. It's not fat. Uh, let's, just, let's just move on. Let's talk about okay. cackle. Now, this Kremlin ah, is cool. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is guy. a skeleton he's the boss, right? Oh, he's the ghost. Right. Thing. And he haunts a library? Why is he in a library? I love these renders so much. Because this probably took like a week to render all the way through. But it just gets the tone off so well. You know what I'm saying? This thing just, it's so inspirational, this concept art. I can smell the library. It's so evocative. It's so dank and dark and musty, man. It's so cool. But let's go back a bit to when DKC2 was still in development <laughs> to talk about Mr. X. 
Oh, this God. This is how Cackle used to look before getting his final design. Oh, before and his skin got ripped off. He has two hook hands? He's cool. I like the military things, but he has two hook hands. That's so impractical. Damn. Mr. X is really cool looking. Yeah, he's but in my cool. opinion, Not I bad. think we ended up getting the cooler design in the final game anyway. And if yeah, you disagree probably. with that, you can lick my nuts. N I agreed with you, Carlito. Jesus, relax. Quickly talk about the cloak. Oh, this door. Huh, huh, huh. The cloak yeah. only appears in Country 2, but no, it was originally meant to him. appear in He's Country 1. He's not a ghost because you can hit this him with a, a barrel. This is that the developers made right? while thinking of names and ideas for... Kremlin Magician is cloak. Statue is crumble. Green is clangor. You know what I was thinking the other night? I was going to bed last night, and uh, I, I put on a YouTube channel. Like, Earthworm Jim came on, and it was a long play of that game. I would have loved to work in games at that moment in time. Something about this time... Before you needed like all this lore and like super intricate game systems or whatever. Like Earthworm Jim is so stupid. It's just like, yeah, now you're bungee jumping. Okay, now you're underwater and you have to go into a big ball and the ball moves around. But if you hit the ball too much, then it explodes. 90s games feel because like nobody knew what the fuck they were doing. I would have loved to work on those games and in marketing. Because you just like, all right, I need a fat uh, crocodile name. Uh, that's Clump. Done. Lock it up. The Rock Croc and the Resident Demon. Oh my God! The Rock Croc. Yeah, is Rock a Croc is like a statue, right? He, in he lives in the, in the in Donkey the and Diddy Kong actually can't hurt them at all, right? Because of their tough skin, so they go in the levels to pretty much avoid. You got to put them to time. sleep. Yep. These guys don't resemble anything undead to me, but apparently they are. The English they're player zombies? guys say that they're possessed, and the German player guys just straight up imply them to be zombies. I thought they were so, rocks. Yeah, yeah. That's why okay. they're. Probably I thought they were like guess. golems. But now the Resident I, Demon, okay. the actual yep. cool one of the two. I this guess. thing is fucking crazy. Oh my like, god, I forgot no about this. Once in DK64 Holy shit! In a single minecart level. Dude, these games were actually scary when you were a kid. This shit in that one room that was like, get out. He's After scary, this level, man. The Resident Demon would never be nightmares. mentioned again, and was eventually forgotten. But believe it or not, this isn't even the coolest looking Kremlin in Donkey Kong 64 because the Kasplat is in the game. Kasplat, that's my guy. That's who I'm thinking of. Brother, that's my on dude. God, when I first saw this thing, I had to actually stop for a second. They're so because cool. Because I had to actually process what I was looking at here. Blats act as King K. Rool's bodyguards in DK64. I love these guys. And for some reason, Rare really wanted people to know that they were bodyguards. So much, really? in fact, that in some languages, their names are just guard. Oh, I didn't know that. There's a lot of Kasplats in this game. I thought they game, had the blueprints, right? You gotta get that shit the to... blueprint for the blast yes, okay. Yep. Which is a weapon capable of destroying right. the entirety of They're the They're annoying to kill early game. Kalo I don't remember how you the killed them. They're like mini-bosses. So they could protect them from the Kongs. And the crushes are really cool. Don't get me wrong. But this by far surpasses any crusher no, design like we've ever seen. The formula for the blue guard Kremlin was perfected with the Kasplat. I don't know. I uh, there's something about. I think it might just be a render thing. I just love this chunky ass render. Something about this. He looks like a little action figure. I I like that more than that. They make the Kasplat one of the coolest motherfuckers I've ever seen. Yeah. Just to never use him again. The amount of blue balls well, I have right now is literally undescribable. No, because Rare, they Rare doesn't make no more games, dude. Unless they were gonna put him in Grab by the Ghoulies. Put them in Tropical Freeze too. Put actual Kremlings in Tropical Freeze too. All right. No, I've it. waited sure. a while to hit you with this one, but this oh, is I one hate of the this coolest guy, dude. Kremlings. Like, uh, no, dude. He's... K Lumsy. I hate. I forgot about K Lumsy. Is this the Banana Fairy guy? This what is, is this guy's Kremlin problem? He's Donkey Godzilla, Kong right? And he's surprisingly friendly. He's one of the only Kremlings in the entire series that actually likes the Kongs. He's Before huge. Before the events of DK64, King like K. Rule ordered K. Lumsey to destroy Donkey Kong Island. Why didn't K. He? Lumsey actually ends up refusing, which makes K. Rule angry, so he locks him up in a cage. <laughs> Throughout the course says. of the game, the Kongs help K. Lumsey by right. unlocking That's his cell. Every time they defeat one of the bosses uh -huh. in the game, they get a boss key. I would have left his ass closed up if I could. I wouldn't trust him. This seems like a good trap for K. Rule. Say to let him out, have Donkey Kong let him... Well, why would he go through all the trouble, I guess? But if you got him to do all that, get all the keys and let him out, and then he kills him. And each time they unlock a part of Ooh. his cage, he gets super excited and jumps around <laughs> Yes, shit, he does, Jay. Which causes calm actual down. tremors across Donkey Dude, Kong calm Island. Down, and those man. tremors reveal more levels that you can go to. Relax. After K. Rool is defeated, K. Lumsey becomes <laughs> free, and the Kongs jumping. and him party. 
I love the vibes he gives off, man. He I don't. I hate him, and he looks stupid. Clubba. Clubba is a built-ass oh, Kremlin huge, who was hired dude. by yeah, Kayla to prevent giant. people from accessing the Lost World, the secret yeah. world in DKC2. He actually doesn't like K. Rool at all. He believes all the Kremlings are miserable under K. Rool's leadership. Oh, I didn't know so that. So he's down to let Diddy and Dixie just slip into the Lost World with no problems. Oh my god, as long I didn't know he was a defector. Okay, that's kind of cool. Just completely disobeying. Yeah, that guy's juiced as hell. And K. Rool's yeah, no orders question. guarding the Lost that World. That guy's fucked up. In his defense, I guess. Yes, if you don't want to pay him, you can still get through, but you'd have to fight him. Do not fight him, by the way. He is very strong. <laughs> he is he is not easy to defeat. Die. We're somewhat getting to the final stretch, so let me finally talk about this dumbass game. Okay. For some reason, the Donkey Kong series loves making original characters that are specifically for their racing games. That is weird. This is the roster of Diddy Kong Racing. I love Timber. They got a Kremlin in here. That's my brother Crunch. Crunch yep. And I've already talked about we him before. Crunch. Watch this video if you want to see I Crunch or that my bad. But Barrel Blast has a decent amount of original characters too. And they're all <laughs> Kremlin. What? These guys show up in Barrel Blast with no story reason or any information attached to them whatsoever. Okay. All we get to know is their names. Then they never appeared in anything Are ever. Are they like fucking a family? Again. Is this like so the do you Simpsons know how I'm of tell you their lore? Through European Brawl trophy descriptions. <laughs> <laughs> because not even the North American version of Brawl has interesting information on them. Ah, they just love that shit, bro. No, Europe just loves this shit, bro. That's a rareware diff. Now, okay. that's all the original characters we have in this game. But there's actually one playable character that appears in this game. That okay, wait, who's this, though? And that's Copter, this ugly-ass uh -huh. dude. He has tiny rat legs, and he's honestly just built weird. <laughs> ew, but the thing ew. is, man, he used to be cute as hell. He's so skinny. This was Copter in his first game appearance. DK That's Copter? I love him. Look at him. In DKC3, he has Whoa. one of the most creative. Whoa, he doesn't even look like he's trying to hurt you. He looks like he's having fun. He looks like he didn't. He doesn't want to hurt you. He just like got a toy from K. Rool. He's like, oh, hell yeah. They took away literally everything fun about him. They take away his helicopter. He's having a good time, and whoever gets hurt isn't his fault. Your blades yeah. and give him just some basic ass propeller hat, no, I don't like which that. is honestly just he, like, kind of insulting to me. Who greenlit anymore. this like change? That. Now, what about awesome. the DKC cartoon? There are some fire Kremlings here with some very interesting stories. Wait, believe they're it or different? Not. You've waited a while for I didn't it, know and that. to be honest, I've I hyped it up enough like already. Oh, so let me pass it to the DKC cartoon lore master. Bezzy. What's okay. up guys? It's Uncle Bezzy. What's up Uncle Bezzy? Forget talking about One Piece and Luffy. Let's talk about Captain about Scurvy, the Thank real you. pirate king. He's a pirate yeah. Kremlin who's appeared in multiple episodes. Well, he's like a in the episode, Booty and the Beast, he wants to steal the powerful know. crystal coconut. He considers oh, it doesn't? his anyways because Scurvy's great, great, great grandfather, Quint Scurvy, uh -huh. was the one who discovered the coconut and brought it to the DK's home island. Scurvy actually ends up getting the crystal coconut but ends up giving it to DK and Anyways, okay. the reason for this Why? is that DK broke Scurvy's tooth. <laughs> That okay. Great, He's great, gonna great pirate okay. oath that he would grant a favor to anyone who knocked out his tooth, and the favor Donkey asked for that seems... was that Scurvy give the crystal coconut back. That seems extremely convenient for Donkey Kong. I would be pissed if that's the one condition I have to grant a single wish. And Donkey Kong does it by accident. It had a cavity and it hurt a lot. Surely there are Kremlin dentists. K. Rool pretended to be a scientist. Surely we have doctors and dentists. Thank you, Bezzy. That brought tears to my eyes, man. As always, brother. I didn't like that. But I'm going to cut you off real quick. I don't like the Donkey Because I want to finish what I started with this rat. <laughs> Why are Junior we back clap at this guy? Not Ew. only was he born a freak by being a DKC cartoon claptrap, but he's also said to be way bigger than the rest of his claptrap brothers. Like, look at him here next to Diddy Kong. He's a gremlin, bro. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Yeah, if Diddy Kong is like a full size chimp. That's kind of big, actually. Imagine That's you're a going big for ass... a walk, and then you see a two-foot-tall <laughs> cartoon claptrap. Holy shit, man. Look at this motherfucker. I would kick that shit so fast, I would jump on his back, and he'd go, ew, and I would get bananas. But what's different about him is that he wears dentures. Oh. And whenever he's working for someone and he becomes a little too annoying by eating random garbage, mm -hmm. they usually take away his dentures so he can no longer eat stuff, leaving him to starve. Oh, that's really sad, actually, then. That's tragic. You just wrap up his teeth? What, because he eats all your stuff? Why did you hire him? At this point, it's really hard to follow up such developed Kremlings like the ones from the DK cartoon, because all I really have left is shit like the Cutlass, dude who holds a sword named after his sword, both a K. No, and then Cutlass there's a blue one of those, Cutlass. but now he's- Oh yeah, these guys! I love Clank! Why didn't we talk about Clank? I so love you know Clank! Means, man. He's so cute! 
that part where I go through the remaining characters really fast because I want to actually upload again. Let's right, get straight into it. Real quick, real quick. Here we go. a crumbling statue <laughs> that can move and fight Donkey oh, Kong. He's named after some Aztec ruler. Yeah, I called the, this the guy one from with the revenge. Earlier yeah. Spyro, but this is actually Spyro. This is a critter that turns into a dragon through the power of a crystal banana. What the fuck is that? Kerosene is a huge Kremlin that <laughs> breathes what fire. What are these? I've he never seen these. in the these. Game Boy port of DKC2. Cup what? and Clout, sometimes called the Kremlin C Twins. They are just two beefy-ass crocodiles. D Kremlin okay. Cop, this Kremlin who's <laughs> nice and dressed, and a cop. As you Okay, why do I not remember Kremlin Cop? Is he from 64? Oh yeah, the light areas. I never looked at him. I thought he was a normal guy. I didn't know he was all dressed up like a rent-a-cop with a tie. It's a little this weird. This is a literal it's... reticle. There's apparently a Kremlin behind this gun, and his name is Croc. We never see him, though. <laughs> just the reticle. So this reticle has a fucking name. That's scary, bro. This Kremlin, whoever he is, went to, like, combat training. He's like a sniper. Even though there were some shitters, I don't think I ever found myself bored looking at a Kremlin. Something no, about beautiful. these guys really stood out to me. I feel like these guys were really made with a lot of love. And even if they're silly or goofy, I feel like that I was like always on purpose. Even their leader yeah, is a fucking silly. joke. But that was the point. But that's why they I are miss them, because like, the, the music people aren't the same, man. They are dumb, but God, do I kind of love them for it. I love the if Kremlins. you're a Kong, you're family. If you're a Kremlin, you're a dumbass. But <laughs> that's why we love you. Thank that you for watching. I, I'm a big fan. Happy birthday, every single Kong. It was one year ago. Bless up, Carlito. Excellent movie. Keep watching to the end. What, is there a, a secret post credit scene? Maybe a hint at the next video, hmm? Aw! Aw, that's nice. That's me. He's talking to me. Now, hey, name three Kremlings now. We watched the whole video. Name three. Comment below. Crusha, Clang, and Clubba. Those are my three Kongs. Name your three below. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, YouTube. So long. Don't put me on the spot. Kludge, uh, uh, Cutlass, um, Clanger. I already said that. Cludgeon.